Hi everyone, Dave here from Trust Studios and today we're going to be taking a look at another trail cam from iZeeker. This is the IG400. Uh, iZeeker did send this camera out to me in exchange for my review and demonstration of the product. However, they did agree that I could give my own honest opinion and do the review as I see fit. So we'll first do an unboxing and then I'll share with you guys uh, some footage from the camera as well as some still pics and then I'll give you my final thoughts on this camera from iZeeker. Okay, so here it is, the iZeeker IG400. Let's take a look at how it comes. So we have the user manual. We have the camera. And in this little compartment, oh, we got batteries. We got our strap, camera strap. We got four starter batteries. It takes eight, but you can run it on four. And you got your cord to transfer footage from the camera. And let's see if they get what kind of card it takes and if that was included as well. Full size SD card, 32 gigs included. Very nice. I'm excited to get this one, uh, get the batteries in it and give it a try, see what kind of footage we can get. Here we have some 4K 30 frames per second video from the camera at nighttime. This camera has the low glow LEDs and they work really well. Really nice clear image in my opinion on this, um, this 4K footage. And we'll go to the day footage in a minute. And we've seen this Fox before on my other camera views. And this is 4K 30 frames per second daytime footage. And again, I think the, the footage is very nice. I was able to take some nice stills out of the footage. And we're going to do a little test of the 4K with the audio now. So this is 4K footage and audio from this iZeeker IG400. And this is the audio. If I boost it up at all, I'll put a little banner down the bottom to tell you what, how much I boosted it. Uh, otherwise, this is the audio and video straight from the camera. So here are some 10 megapixel camera photos. And these are from the camera's um, photo mode. And I also did some that were from the uh, 4K footage. These are from the 4K footage. That was a cropped in version. And I like those a lot. So I wanna show you guys the 1080p by 30 frames per second footage because that's very nice as well. And that's what I'll mostly be using uh, to save on battery and save on card space. Um, so I use this mainly to observe wildlife. That's why I take one minute clips and so forth. Um, I, I really think that the footage on this camera is very good for the price point, both the 4K and the 1080p. And uh, the, the settings, there's, there's so many options. You have the 4K, 2.7K, 1080p, and you have two resolutions below that as well. You also have time-lapse video. Um, you have all the standard things, you know, all the standard settings. They all have the date stamp and so on. Um, really nice full featured uh, camera. At this price point, I think it's a very good deal. I did have the issue with the, um, the camera was shortening the video clips from my one minute setting down to uh, often three seconds. And I didn't have the date stamp on, so I didn't realize that the battery indicator was, um, was indicating low 
because when I go out and get the camera in the morning, it wouldn't be indicating low, it'd, I'd be showing three bars. So I would be thinking, well, why did it do that? And, you know, and I got in touch with Isaacer and told them, and uh, they were kind enough to even send another camera out, but they also uh, said that, you know, it probably is, you know, put the, put the date stamp on so you can see it, what the battery status is when it's doing that. And sure enough, they were right because the battery um, would dip down at night, colder temperatures, plus you're running the, the uh, infrared lights. So there wasn't sufficient power for it to do the one minute clips when it was very cold and the battery was not topped off full. So it would, um, it would still take clips. I didn't even lose footage. It would just have to break them up smaller because it couldn't take that sustained one minute clip. Um, but yeah, that's what it was, was that the battery was, you know, um, it was too much power for what, what the battery had left in it because of the temperature and the lights, go, you know, the lights needing more power. So if you are going to set longer times like that, most of you who are using these as a hunting camera, I doubt you're going to have be using that uh, longer video feature uh, or longer video capture time. You're probably going to be using the picture or you're going to be using, you know, low, low quality video uh, resolution and shorter clips. But nevertheless, um, you know, keep that in mind. You either want to put maybe a solar panel on this camera or make sure that your batteries are very fresh if you're going to put it out at night and it's cold and you want long clips. But other than that, this camera, you know, and that's understandable. That's going to be with any, any trail cam is going to do that. It's going to have a, you know, increased demand for power at night and the, and the battery power is going to be weakened because batteries lose um, capacity with cold weather. So uh, that said, overall, this camera really performed uh, above my expectations, and uh, I'm really happy to, to uh, have them. So I let the footage speak for itself, but I think, you know, the image quality is excellent from this. I think the video quality is better than the still image quality, and that's why I pull my pull my stills out of the video and that and because I can compose the shot um, how I want it. So that concludes my thoughts on this camera, the IG400 from iZeeker. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will have an affiliate link in the description to this camera should you want to get one for yourself. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.